Types of synthetic fibers Rayon You know that silk fiber obtained from silk worm was discovered in China and was kept as a closely guarded secret for a long time. Fabric obtained from silk fiber was very costly, but its beautiful texture fascinated everybody. Attempts were made to make silk artificially towards the end of the 19th century. Scientists were successful in obtaining a fiber having properties similar to that of a silk. Such a fiber was obtained by chemical treatment of wood pulp. This fiber was called rayon or artificial silk. Although rayon is obtained from a natural source, wood pulp, yet it is a man-made fiber. It is cheaper than silk and can be woven like silk fibers. It can also be dyed in a wide variety of colors. Rayon is mixed with cotton to make bed sheets or mixed with wool to make carpets. Second is nylon. Nylon is another man-made fiber. In 1931, it was made without using any natural raw material like plant or animals. It was prepared from coal, water and air. It was the first fully synthetic fiber. Nylon fiber was strong, elastic and light. It was lustrous and easy to wash. So, it became very popular for making clothes. We use many articles made from nylon such as socks, ropes, tents, toothbrushes, car seat belts, sleeping bags, curtains, etc. Nylon is also used for making parachutes and ropes for rock climbing. A nylon thread is actually stronger than a steel wire. Third is polyester and acrylic. Polyester is another synthetic fiber. Fabric made from this fiber does not get wrinkled easily. It remains crisp, crisp and is easy to wash. So it is quite suitable for making dress material. You must have seen people wearing polyester shirts and other dresses. Terrilin is a popular polyester. It can be drawn into very fine fibers that can be woven like any other yarn. Pet is a very familiar form of polyester. It is used for making bottles, utensils, films, wires and many other useful products. Look around and make a list of things made of polyester. Polyester means poly plus ester. It is actually made up of repeating units of a chemical called an ester. Ester are the chemicals which give fruits their smell. Fabrics are sold by names like polycot, polyul, terricot, etc. As the name suggests, these are made by mixing two types of fibers. Polycot is a mixture of a polyester and cotton. Polyul is a mixture of polyester and wool. We wear sweaters and use shawls or blankets in the winter. Many of these are actually not made from natural wool, though they appear to resemble wool. These are prepared from another type of synthetic fiber called acrylic. The wool obtained from natural sources is quite expensive, whereas clothes made from acrylic are relatively cheap. They are available in a variety of colors. Synthetic fibers are more durable and affordable, which makes them po more popular than natural fibers. You have already know when you burn synthetic fibers, 
you find that their behavior is different from that of the natural fibers. You must have noticed that synthetic fibers melt on heating. This is actually a disadvantage of a synthetic fibers. If the clothes catch fire, it can be disastrous. The fabric melts and sticks to the body of the person wearing it. We should therefore not wearing synthetic clothes while working in the kitchen or in a laboratory. All synthetic fibers are prepared by a number of processes using raw materials of petroleum origin called petrochemicals.